So I've been called an Essie fanboy one too many times. I'm not an Essie fanboy. I can prove it too. Look, look. I own one K bar. Yelling about Welcome back here, guys. Let's get to a little bit of review. Yeah. I'm not drinking. Sound good? Alright. Come here. Well, guys, we were going to review uh, the SC Kangaroo, but. Come here, Bushby. Come here. Come here. Come here. I guess we're gonna review the bush bee. Uh, and she is a uh, tricolor pattern. She's black, tannish, red, and what you want to get out? I said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about the Essie Kangaroo, and we're also gonna be talking about one of my favorite summertime drinks, uh, Shock Top Lemon Shandy. It's not a bad beverage. It comes in a decent sized can, and it can pop right in your pack and go with you. Um. What I will say is, I've never drunk this out of a glass. I always drink it out of the can, so bear with me. Oh, you gotta love that sound. Uh, this can, as you can see, has been in a pack and didn't get drunk. Uh, it's all beat up and dented. Still drinks just the same. Got a collection of Essies behind me. This isn't all of them, surprisingly. Get the trusty old HCC one out, and we'll go to Blade HQ, and we'll look at this knife. Now, as you can see, is the Essie Kangaroo fixed blade neck knife, two inch blade. Um, this is the exact version I got, which is just black. It comes in many colors, including pink and purple for you girls out there. The kangaroo is a nasty little parasitic fish that is native to the Amazon River. You can see the fish right there on it. It, This fish is small, just like the knife it is named after, but both are tough as nails. Skeleton frame construction. I have the TKC Tiger Scales on it right now. These are made out of G10. It is a 1095 powder coated carbon steel blade. This knife is designed to be the perfect lightweight survival knife or concealed carry knife. It includes a molded polymer sheath with belt clip, which is this. Set that right there. Let's go to the specs, guys. Now, this, the specs don't include the handle scales or the paracord. Overall length is 5.125 inches. The blade length is 2 inches. It is the smallest SE currently in production. Blade thickness is 0.13. Blade material is as stated 1095. The hardness is 55 to 57 Rockwell uh, hardness. Uh, blade style is a drop point like most SEs. Uh, the blade grind is flat. The finish is black. Um, the edge type is plain. Whatever that means. Uh, handle length is 3.125 and the weight without the scales, I'll say that again, is 1.4 ounces. The sheath is molded polymer. This is a fixed blade by SE Knives. Um, the country of origin is the US of A, just like the flag right behind me. And uh, yeah, um, the TKC handle scales are about, I think it was $34 for this. Um, comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, this knife is $47.95 right now on Blade HQ. I do not work for Blade HQ. I don't get paid by Blade HQ. I just order all my knives from either Blade HQ or Knife Connection. I currently own only maybe two or three knives that weren't bought that, at one of two of those sites. Okay done with the specs. Now I will say this is uh, my favorite pocket carry knife. I carry this knife every day. I carry it right there on my pocket. I'm right handed. I made a little paracord toggle. I slipped my two fingers in there. Knife is out. Very comfortable with the TKC handle scales. 
you have to have these scales. I, I, I tried the knife without them. It's just not very comfortable. It's too thin of a blade, too small. Um, with the scales, you get three fingers on the grip. Pinky finger hangs. I keep the pair cord on my fingers. That way, at work, if I happen to draw, if I, it slips out of my hand, I still have the knife. So, put the knife back in the sheath. It's an excellent knife. Um, I, I use it every day to cut um, cordage and different things at work. Uh, cut plastic, cut cardboard, cut um, polymer loader's twine because I'm a loader at um, a uh, furniture manufacturing company. Um, now let's talk about the shock top. Um, it's what you would expect from shock top. It's got it's got citrus in it. It's got a lot of orange and lemon flavors in it. Um, it's a wheat based beer. It goes down nice. It's nothing too special. Uh, 4.2 percent alcohol. The only reason I buy this is because for one, four packs of it are cheap. It goes down smooth. Goes down easy, and it's nice around a fire on a hot day. So, what more can you beat? Oh. And it's decent hot because most of the time when I'm drinking this it's the summer and it's like 90 degrees outside and I'm hiking around and the beer's not going to stay cold in your pack. So I'll carry two cans of this if I'm going to be out the entire sun up sundown day or one can if I'm just chilling for you know five six hours. Anyways it's the Shock Top Lemon Shandy. This is the SE Kangaroo. It is by SE Heat Treat by Rowan. Excellent little pocket knife. I no longer, because of this knife, I no longer carry a folding knife as my pocket knife. Go check out uh, my last review. It was on this knife. The SECR 2.5 by Corey Rowan. Excellent little knife. And uh, we'll see you later guys. Stay swamping my friends. But we wish you was here. Rod Wilson. Ah, uh, see in the trees, baby. Ah, uh, you're a wizard, Bush, bitch. You're a wizard. Yeah, self line, baby. See you in the trees. Your boy Nate Harvey. Ah. Uh.